hi guys linda is immediately here welcome back to my channel in this video today i'm going to be responding to a question by one of my subscribers her name is getrude akosa i hope i pronounced your name well if i didn't please accept my apologies it was a video i made about processed human hair extensions the advantages and disadvantages of processed human hair extension so getrude says does this have anything to do with the hair being remy or not i mean the hair being processed Whew. so the thing is a vendor can choose to process their raw hair extension a vendor can also choose to process their virgin hair extension a vendor can also choose to process their remy hair extension it's all about it's it's choice it's just like you you have rice you can choose to eat that your rice as fried rice you can choose to eat that rice as jollof rice you can just eat that your rice as rice and sauce so depending on the various thing the various qualities of hairs that the vendor has available they can choose to process it or not process it so let's say one of the vendors i work with has different qualities of hair they have raw hair extensions they have virgin hair extensions they also have the one they call remy hair extension so for the raw hair extensions they have the processed raw hair and they have the unprocessed raw hair for the virgin hair extension they also have the processed virgin hair extension and they also have the unprocessed virgin hair extension for the remy hair extension they also have the processed and they also have the unprocessed and take notes when hair is processed processed to be let's say bone straight hair processed to make the color maybe to make it blonde or processed to give it a different core pattern processing the hair makes the hair to be more expensive it could be a difference of let's say seven dollars ten dollars five dollars three dollars two dollars so the hair is basically processed to achieve different core patterns or is achieved is processed to get a different color either a blonde wine or the colored hair that we tend to see nobody natural nobody's natural hair comes in green or blue or red or burgundy or yellow so all these other colored hairs that we tend to see in the market they are all processed to extension except for black hair some brown hair and a blonde because i know some people have blonde hair though some of the blonde hair we also see in the market is also processed because it was colored to get it to have that blonde look that we that we see so your processed hair could be remy hair it could be raw hair it could be virgin hair it just depends on the supplier you're working with so you need to make sure you're able to ask your supplier questions to inquire if about the the, the quality of the hair, the hair extension that you are they are selling and don't be afraid to ask your vendor your hair supplier questions you want to know exactly what you are buying because i just noticed that this is people just go and they buy hair without having the confidence to ask the suppliers questions yeah you are giving somebody your money right you want to know exactly what you are buying so ask them questions so you are able to know exactly what you are investing your money into i was i hope i was able to answer your first question get through our course let me see if i can answer your second question in this video and this second question you asked was from the remy hair versus non remy hair video she says if i buy a wig that comes on a paper or in a pack is it usually of quality i want to buy a certain hair that is described as 100 percent virgin hair grade 15. is it worth the investment it's in a paper or a pack Whew. so let me be honest with you i personally don't know any packed hair to be of good quality and you're telling me now that this packed hair you're talking about is described to be 15a grade and 100 percent virgin remy hair i don't want to just outrightly say that the quality of the hair will not be good because it's packed hair you would have to take the risk the risk of buying it and finding out for yourself but if I'm gonna be honest to you, most packed hair is not good quality hair. It's more like um a mixture of human hair, it's what they call human hair blend, a mixture of human hair and synthetic hair. It could be heat resistant synthetic fibers that even if you were to straighten the hair, it's not going to get it's not going to get melted because 
the fibers that were used in the hair is heat resistant what i would advise you do is let's say you want to buy three of these packs to make a full wig or something why not buy just one pack you go home and you test that one pack and see if the quality of the hair is up to your, up to the standard that you want and one of the books i'm coming out with in a couple of months is how to test the quality of hair extensions maybe when a, that book is out people will be able to go through that book and know how to best how best to test the test the quality of their hair extensions their wigs to know if they want to continue investing in that part in, in that given supplier or not but what i'll just say is buy a small pack test the hair and if you like it but why would somebody have 15A grade, which is like a Chinese, Chinese that's a grading system that Chinese suppliers tend to use. You have 15A grade hair, you have, and it's said to be 100% virgin Remy hair. I feel like all these things are just names that are put on this pack to get people to buy it. But by the time you start to use this hair, you just find out that it's not really what it's labeled to be. You might just be disappointed. That's my honest thought on this. But like I said, buy a little, test it and see if you like it. If you don't like it, forget about it. Do for something better. So Getru, thank you so much for your question. I hope I was able to answer your question with this video. If you watch this video, let me know if I answered your questions correctly. If there are still other questions you have, let me know also in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I know other people are going to watch this video aside from Gertrude. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you got value out of it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Share with your friends who also need to get value out of it. And please subscribe to my channel if you're not yet subscribed. I love you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. <laughs> are there any more questions for me?